how to play the game. This controller is a piece of shit. Fuck shit, dicks, cocks, ass, balls. Fuck cocks, dicks, ass. The game was a fucking cocksucker. Bullshit! Oh my god. What? I never failed the mission. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Ah! Oh god, no, I don't want to do that! It's the wrong button! Oh my god! That is not what I wanted. What the fuck? Holy fucking shit, I didn't mean to do that. That was a complete accident. How in the holy hell did the plane survive? It survived. No one was shooting at me. Literally, no one was shooting at me. The guy, he was facing away from me. Nothing was hitting me. Now, all of a sudden, I'm, my plane blows up. Okay. And now, our feature presentation. Oh, Jesus Christ, it scared the shit out of me. The Dirty Troll has started tonight with a, a super chat saying, I'm a loser. Your homie Keemstar. <laughs> He's not my homie. Announces retirement today. Do you see YouTube offering retirement plans down the line? Absolutely not. And by the way, he announced his retirement yesterday, and the vast majority of the internet actually celebrated. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in. Then a... Kevin has now done a super chat and says, "What do I think about Keemstar's retirement? I don't. I never watched a single piece of Keemstar's content during the time period that he made it. I don't care about him. Toxify it. All I know is that he is one of the original people who basically was a." rumor monger drama monger and or person who caused a lot of personal pain for people so that he could get a buck you know let's let's air everyone's dirty laundry sometimes not even confirmed just rumors on youtube for my own personal benefit wow what a nice guy and then there's sometimes when you say oh someone's retiring up oh, nothing of value is lost dude did you look at the fucking mirror you stupid muppet i mean it's been well documented firsthand that the guy has literally time after time said things and done things that concretely hurt people that were not true speculation or things that he claimed he vetted as a story and the story's not true and then instead of you know wholeheartedly apologizing he instead has to go into like defense mode oh no that was a credible source and blah blah blah, blah. he doesn't care essentially the reason he does the shit is to get ahead for himself he does not care about the well-being of anyone involved with the stuff that he does he's a pretty messed up individual for the fact that he gets ahead by ever other people's misery so I, I'm not gonna feel bad for that fucking guy. You think I'm the villain? Go fuck yourself. Kevin Bernstein tipped me, uh, did a two dollar super chat. It's sad to see Keem leave. He was here since 2009, old man. Yeah, well, I've been here since 2007. Like, it's been tough. You know, my life has been tough over the last decade. It has. So, <laughs> so fuck him. <laughs> so fuck him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, you're never gonna get me to say I'm sad to see that guy leave. Someone who literally his entire career was stirring up drama and hurting others to make a buck. And if, if the one thing that he ever said about me negative was the stupid, you know, the incident, and it wasn't a big deal, he didn't make a big deal about it, and that's fine, I guess. I'm just glad that I basically never got in his crosshairs. I was never big enough or important enough to get into the guy's crosshairs. Then again, I am an evil, dirty, heinous scammer who steals money from little children. I never really did anything horrible that he would try to like, you know, say shit about me, I guess. I never, there was never enough drama for me to be a part of drama alert. Me and you have to have a little chat. It's recently come to my attention that you were talking shit about me on your stream. That's right, somebody donated money and asked you your thoughts and opinions on Keemstar's retirement. And you said, you know what, I've never watched the guy. I don't watch Keemstar. I never seen a single Keemstar video. Then you went on to say, all Keemstar does is lie about different creators, just slanders them, puts out nothing but fake news, something along those lines. I thought that was strange because I thought you never watched any of my videos. Also, I can remember a time where you were actually begging to come on my show. 
Yeah, I do remember that. You were begging to come on Drama Alert. What? But you know, it's strange. I don't know why you're begging to come on my show because you've already been on my show. Don't you remember that one time that you sat down at your streaming computer and, you know, you were looking at a little porn hub. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. I want it so bad and I can't get it. And big taints. And you were fucking, you were going to town just smacking that sausage, right? Groaning and everything else and, you know, grabbed a little tissue, cleaned up the mess that you made. And then you noticed that you were streaming live. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. Hello. Yeah, we ran that story on fucking drama. That was fucking hilarious. You fucking beat off right in front of your fans. So yeah, I get it. I get why you hate me because we covered that story. But there's a deeper reason on, on why you hate me. Me and you have been doing YouTube for about the same amount of time or gaming entertainment, whatever you want to say, uh, for the same amount of time. And I'm retiring, all right? I'm retiring with fuck you money. Never have to fucking work again. And you, having the same career, you know, doing the same thing, you know, online entertainment stuff, you're still begging for $10 donations and $20 donations to pay your electric bill, to pay your fucking rent. I hope that someday I'll get out of it. I don't know if I ever will. I may be, I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. All right? I get it. I'd hate me too. See you, Phil. Have a good one. Nah! Darkside Phil, sir, I'm going to have to call bullshit. You just accused me of two things. One, punching down like you're some type of victim or something. You were literally talking shit first. And two, you were basically saying that you struck a nerve with me. No, both are wrong. I'm very simple. If somebody talks shit to me, I talk shit back because it's entertaining to myself and it's entertaining to my viewers. And I was thinking to myself, do I hate this motherfucker? No, I don't. I don't even really know you that much. I've never had a fucking problem with you. So I figured I would leave by giving you some life advice. And you have to do the calculations to try to beat the game and win the game. And at this game of life, I've beat the game. I beat the game. I used some money glitches, but I beat the game at life. You, Phil, you're still on mission one and you can't get anywhere, and you're rage quitting, and you're starting over, and restarting, and restarting. I mean, a decade ago, you were on stream begging for $20 and $10 donations so you could pay your rent. It's a decade later, you're begging for $10 and $20 to pay your rent. Bullshit! You're restarting mission one. You're trying to use the same tactic over and over again, and you're dying, and you're having to restart the level. If you want to win at this game of life, you're going to have to fucking do something different. Now, I know it's an ongoing thing with people telling you to go get a real job. But you probably need to get a real fucking job. Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit.
you serious? It's 12 o'clock and time for his nap. Subscribe to so much Julius Cruz. I have no idea who the hell that is. I need you to help support everything, all right? Oh my god, I'm a complete idiot. I'm a loser! I'm making less money for no reason. I don't know who Tyrone is. I'm not here to beg you for money. Just give me money! I need th that money. Only Sucker works a 9 to 5 job.